What's up everybody, it's Chu Flocka back at again with another Madden YouTube video. Yesterday, I posted a video on how to run the three best offensive plays in the yard. Today, we're going to be doing the best defensive plays in the yard. It's going to be around two to three plays. I'm going to head into the player selection and who you should be picking. But it also depends on how you build your team. Because right now, I'm working on my golden arm to get pocket dead eye. I'm putting pocket dead eye on my uh, running back. I'm planning. I'm testing out. I'm labbing in the yard. I'm trying to build the literally the perfect prototype right now. But as because I'm doing that, I've been working with double quarter. I mean, I've been working with like faster wide receivers. I mean, but it's it's been so me doing that it helps on defense when you have like fast wide receivers or corners playing the wide receiver. But let's get right into the player selection. Let's head into the video. All right, getting into the player picks at middle linebacker center. This is one that you could interchange a lot. I usually like to have like a running back. If not, if I don't get a tight end or the David Bakatari. So right here, I think I'm going to go with either. I'm probably going to go with Dalvin Cook here. He can get some blocks if I need it. That doesn't really matter that much on defense. Wide receiver one. This is like where I like to have either a tall wide receiver or a fast corner. So I obviously I would go for the Kyle Fuller normally because I'd rather have defense here. But there's a golden Kenny Galladay who can play just as good on defense because he is like a 6'5 wide receiver and he has the gold. So I think he, he'll play perfectly fine on our team on defense. All right, the next pick, wide receiver two. The same thing here. We're looking for like a, a corner or a wide receiver. And we get a perfect pick here in golden Jair Alexander. Although, if I was trying to have fun, I'd pick the golden Aaron Rodgers because that is the best yard player. in the. I hit my mic on exit. But the Aaron Rodgers is the best yard player in the game. In the game. I'm telling you guys, you can run the corner specialist. He is just OP, man. He makes every throw. He's left-handed in this mode as well. He could do everything, but I'm going to go with Jair Alexander here. All right, the slot wide receiver cornerback. This is one you can interchange to. Like, you can do a tight end there, but I don't recommend it. I think it's a little slow, but we're going to go with defense here. We're going to go with that golden Kendall Fuller. We'll take that any day. It's going to help a lot in the flats, like basically everything. Right here is another flat defense. You can go with a tall wide receiver or a corner once again. A lot of people I see like to go with, like, running backs here. I, I don't like putting running backs on my team unless I have to and honestly I don't think I've ever seen Aaron Jones I don't know if he's new in here I haven't seen him before and I've played a lot of Lambo tailgate but I think I'm going to go with I think I'm gonna go with MVS here he is a lower overall than Thielen but he is taller better for defense he is faster as well we built a pretty good defense here we got MVS a tall wide receiver Kendall Fuller a gold Kenny Galladay a gold and Jair Alexander a gold and a purple Devil Cook so not too bad we're going to be starting the game on defense. This is one I love to run when I'm closer to the end zone. But this is one I think if you have pretty good players, which I did draft a pretty good team. Goal line robber helps a lot. Especially man defense helps in all modes in this game. I'll show you here. I don't have the best defensive build right now. See, I know this play already. Nobody blitzed. I don't know what he's doing there. But if everything was clamped there. It might have been just because he was running the vertical routes. But we did draft good players here. If you draft like a linebacker, you're really, it's really not going to be as successful. Okay, he does throw that. We're going to watch this. It's See, look at two plays. He's lost 11 yards and a down, actually, because he uh, tried to run. The goal line robber is very good in one-on-ones, I'm telling you. You can't really audible your players like press or... See, like, everyone's getting cooked off the line of scrimmage. See, that's just a fluke play there. You can't even... There's nothing you could do about those. But you guys see how close tight the defense is. There's so many picks that happened in it. Like, obviously, if I could get a better player than Kenny Galladay there for defensive purposes. All right, let's head right back into goal line robber here. I did have a mishap where I called the wrong play, and I he did score on me. It does seem like he has something there, and he did not throw it. I did get there in time. If he would have threw that deep post, that would have been a pick. It seems like he was throwing the flat or the slant that was uh, completely clamped. We're going to get into it again, see if we can get going here. I think it's Kirk Cousins at quarterback, and he has his player playing the running back position. He does. He's going to run the corner. We are going to get a stop here. I'm telling you guys, that's the best play in the game is the goal line robber. I wouldn't suggest it as much in 3v3s because it's hard to it's hard to play defense one-on-one -on -one in Madden, let's be honest. In an open field, it really is. But um, that is the best play, in my opinion, by far to run. 
on defense, but we're going to head into the next two here. All right, heading into the second play here I've recommended. I, you guys are going to start to see that I use man a lot. There's a lot of these lockup blitz packages, but the lockup blitz is the best one in my opinion. So what I like to do is like use her the running back or the D tackle because it, usually I use her the center a lot actually. We do miss the diving pick there. That would have been real nice on the first play too. But look, it's right there. He still gets a nice little... Uh, we get a loss of yards for him right here. But I normally do will use the guy guarding the centers. Because if he pulls out, we can have we have so much time to bait down here. There's a lot of baiting you could do there. I messed up on the bait. That was an easy pick if I would have played it right. But if the center does block, I can either blitz or I can fake blitz. And then make him throw a flat or something and I can pick it off. See, as he's going to send his center here. We have just everything locked up down here. He does just throw it up. And he does get a crazy lucky play, but you guys saw it went right through my player's hands. But we're playing this. It's, it makes people force into bad plays. Obviously, sometimes Madden's not going to give it to you. Obviously, everyone knows how Madden is. All right, let's head into a couple more of those plays. I want to show you that it actually works. I want him to block his D tackle, but it doesn't seem like, I mean, the center, but it doesn't seem like he's going to. He does just throw it up here, and we do get a pick with MVS. That's why I don't like, like running backs there or even like a double quarterback. Because there's no defense involved at all. MVS is a... He, I think that's a blue MVS. But he is tall. He is a fast player. He does get a lot of picks in this game. We do make him quit. We're going to head into a third play though for you guys. Let me load up another game. Next one is the safety blitz lock. This is one that I like to bait out of a lot. I don't always rush if I don't have to. It forces him into plays like that. Well, that is a good play by him. I'm going to respect. That's a good play. But normally, it, it will force people in the very bad plays... Like, right there. I didn't know. Like, I think I switched to the man of the quarterback once that happens. But that was my fault there. But we'll see what's going to go. We're going to try to bait this a little bit. Oh, we tried to bait it. He is playing really good right here. This is, like, this is probably the best I've seen somebody play against a man defense. But let's head into it again. I'm going to show you that it works. I'm going to show you that, obviously, in the yard, you can't play best defense. You can't audible. You can't do anything like you want, like in a normal game. But the blitz ones are a little... We do get a pick there. After all, he does drive. We throw the pick. Man defense forces a lot of bad plays. I'm starting to I'm starting to shadow what he was looking for in the backfield. And as I was doing that, it forced him into a bad throw over top. He didn't have to throw that, obviously. But the man defense kind of, especially with Dalvin Cook, it kind of like, kind of like offs it a little bit where it looks like it's open, which I love when I have like a slot wide receiver playing uh, running back. But anyways, let's head right back into more examples. We're going to head back into the safety blitz lock. This one's a little bit different because the way it plays, like your slot will play. It's I don't know how to explain it. Like your slot will blitz instead of your uh, instead of your uh, running back, which I like more. I think it's better for defense. I'd rather have my running back be my user and not be the one that's playing man. See, nor it, normally it's, it's like different a little bit, but we'll be fine right there. We do force a fumble there. That is huge. See, two takeaways and two plays. The man defense, I'm telling you, the zone does not work. It kills. Zone gets killed in the yard. Completely killed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Run man defense and ultimate team the yard. Regs. Just run man defense. That's all you got to do. This has been True Flock. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out.